Will these islands ever be able to bounce back, and what can we do to help? Well, let me ask Bob Guccione, Jr. He's the former publisher of Spin Magazine and founder of a brand new travel website, Wanderlust. Well, thank you. Uh, thanks for being here. <laughs> My pleasure. Good seeing you again. So it's really interesting that you have put your energy into a travel website because, yeah. as you say, like the whole enterprise of trying to find cool places to go is so corporate and boring. And you end up with yeah. the same lists and the same recommendations. And, and humorlessness. Yeah. There's no humor in it. And, and when have you ever traveled or has anybody ever traveled and not found it to be a fun experience, to be the, a vein of funniness somewhere in it? You know, I, I think humor really elucidates the human condition. Yeah. And I think it's missing in travel media. I saw that as an opportunity to get in. But the reason I sort of made the transition out of, well, it's been a while since I did spin, yeah. you know, of course, but, but towards travel is partly, it's more interesting to me at my age now than, than new music, but also it is the essence of storytelling. Yeah. Travel is at the heart of every story, um, whatever, whatever story you tell. You know, it, it involved movement, it involved discovery. So how can we, as travelers and as tourists, rebuild these places? Is it, is it a form of charity going uh, somewhere that has been ravaged by hurricanes, which may not be up and functioning? Yeah. Or is it, uh, is it somehow stoking the human spirit and the power to heal by visiting places that may be in a bad You know, you bring way. up a great point. The second point I think is really very, very valid. Um, we will help by going there without a question. And um, they will appreciate us going. Uh, the caveat is there has to be somewhere to go to. Yes. And in Puerto Rico, that won't be the case for a long time. Isn't that sad? Because it it's is a beautiful, beautiful place. It's a beautiful place. So St. Martin. Incredible which people, great food. And it, it's really just great people pristine too. and safe and awesome. Absolutely, as is St. Martin, yeah. uh, as is the, the British Virgin Islands and a couple of the other places that were just so badly hit. What's remarkable is that most of the Caribbean wasn't affected. But that's sort of lost in the, uh, the, the, the drama. Yeah, the places crisis. like Haiti, Cayman Islands, but, but Jamaica. Puerto, Puerto, uh, Puerto Rico was so badly hit, and that's American citizens. You yes. know? I mean, we, we have to first care about you know, Puerto Rico, uh, and we can't. The, the president's response is woeful, yeah. has been woeful. And he, he has gotten good marks for uh, his response to Hurricanes Harvey and Irma in places like Texas mm -hmm. and Florida. But it's, it's interesting because Americans have a disconnect. We still see Puerto Rico as a different place. But when you're born there, you are an American citizen. Absolutely. They right. use yeah, yeah. U.S. dollars. By the way, I think we should be helping St. Martin. Yeah. What does it hurt us to help another neighbor? You know, uh, I, I do hope tourists do go. I think St. Martin will recover. For instance, Puerto Rico is going to take longer because infrastructure is so damaged. It'll take a while to get power but it, back. But it's, it's you know? sad because it's, it's sort of this perpetuating cycle where they can't get the money to rebuild unless tourists go there, but mm -hmm. tourists can't go there until they get the money to rebuild. Well, I think the government has to give them the money to rebuild and you know, get it back from them over the course of time yeah. uh, because we have to help. I mean, they're American citizens, just as they were in Houston and Florida. But Houston and Florida is Trump's base. Yes. He was very, very quick to offer a helping hand there. Puerto Rico, he doesn't see as his base. Mm -hmm. And I think he was uh, proportionately slow. And I think he was cajoled into it. But no, as, as, as the average citizen, yes, we should go there. I'm uh, going to go. As okay, soon we, as have, I can. we have just a, a couple seconds left. It is free speech week. Uh, you have been a publisher. You have employed non-traditional writers and correspondents yeah. over the years, like Chris Novoselic, whom we just mm -hmm. talked to. Uh, very quickly, what is the state of the, of the union of free speech in this country? It's in terrible it? danger because it's being intimidated. And frankly, writers are not necessarily as brave as soldiers and first responders. You know, writers can get intimidated. Editors are intimidated. Economically, our whole industry is intimidated uh, by, by tough, tough competitive times. It's a time to be braver than ever. And, and one of the reasons I want to do Wonderlust is because I wanted to bring some of that in, into something even as sort of generally stayed as the travel category. I thought, you know, we're talking about places, we're talking about people, let's be bold, let's be brave. And, yeah. I, and I hope, and, I, and I, I'm giving a keynote speech at a magazine conference, folio conference next week, the week after, and I'm going to make that my message. You know, we all as a community have to be braver. We have to stand up to people, even our own president. Yeah, there are holes in the market. There is still a market. There's, it is the Wild yeah. West. Uh, there, there are boundaries to be pushed and yeah. money to be made. Bob Gucci Jr., thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Always good to see you. Likewise, Kennedy. Amen. Likewise.